should be the print price on a watch uh, purchased at 380 rupees so that after giving 5% discount there's a profit of 25% this is a complicated example so we need to read it carefully so what is given so let's write what's given so the first thing that is given is the cost price of the watch purchased at 380 rupees so this should be very clear that uh, businessmen or whoever is doing business on watches they purchased at or the cost price of the watch was 380 rupees okay now they are selling it so as business uh, people uh, what they do is they they have uh, they decide a price which is called the print price they print the price on the watch and that's called the print price so we want to find the print price so print price or the price on the uh, watch is what you want to find okay and they're giving a discount on the print price they give you they are giving a discount of five percent and even after giving that five percent discount the profit that they're having is 25 percent so this is the whole question they're buying at 380 and this they have printed one price which is called the print price and on the print price they're giving a discount of five percent and even after giving a five percent discount they're having a 25 percent profit so the question is you want to find the print price so let's start like this let the print price so i'll write pp let the print price be rupees 100 this is a good starting point okay now discount discount is five percent discount is five percent so that is clearly that is clearly five rupees so the price after discount the price after discount would be 95 rupees okay now in this 95 though they are selling at 95 this has a profit part and the cost part so i can say 95 has cost price plus 25 percent of the cost price this is cost price plus 25 percent of cost price so can i say 95 is cost price plus a quarter of cost price 25 percent is a quarter so i can say 95 should be so this is one cost price and this is a quarter so this is you can say this is four quarters cost price plus a quarter cost price so i hope you can understand this is five quarters of the cost price so if let me explain this in a different way now this i am i'm saying this is one quarter this is the cost price and this is a quarter of a cost price so quarter so if you have a cost price plus a quarter of cost price so how many quarters so this is four quarters and this is one quarter so then you've got five quarters of cost price so i can write this as 95 is equal to five over four times cost price okay so this is if i want to get rid of this five quarters so what should i do i'll multiply this side with four fifths so if you multiply this side with four fifth, it also multiply this side with four fifth. So what happens? This five and five gets cancelled, and four and four gets cancelled. So the cost price is four fifth times ninety five over one, which is four times ninety five over five. Now five. 5 goes in 5 once and 5 goes in 19, 95 19 times 19 times 5 is 95 so the cost price 
then we start with 100 is 19 times 4. Now 19 times 2 is 38 and 38 times 2 is 76. So the cost price is 76. Okay, I hope you understood this. I'll explain this again. This is one cost. So this is 4, cost, four out of 4 of, of the cost price. So this is four quarters of cost price, which is cost price, plus one quarter is five quarters. I hope I have not confused you more. Okay, so now we can say, let us make two columns. Uh, say cost price and uh, the print price. Okay, so when the cost price is 76, the print price is 100. Okay, we started with hundred dollars as the print price discount of five percent so the price after discount is 95 and we say that this 95 has two components one is the cost price and a quarter 25 percent is a quarter of the cost price so you have the cost price and the quarter of the cost price is five quarters of a cost price and to get rid of this five quarter i multiplied by four fifth on this side so you have to multiply with four fifth on this side and this is nothing but cost price. I've written cost price first and then I've written this, which is 76. Okay. So you, when the cost price is 76, your print price is 100. Now we know that the cost, the actual cost price is 380. What should be the print price? That's the question. So 76 goes in 380 how many times? So 76 times 10 is 760 and 380 I hope you can see is half of 760 so 760 times 5 is 7 6 times 3 5 times 6 is 30 3 so this is 380 so this goes 76 times 5 is 380 so this has to be multiplied by 5 so you can see the print price of the watch should be 500 rupees so let us check whether the answer is right so let me use a different color okay so the print price print price is 500 rupees so discount of discount of 5% so 10% discount is 50 so discount of 25 rupees discount so the price price after discount after discount is 500 take away 25 is 475 so 475 should be uh, should this has uh, so what's the cost price so cost price we know is 380 okay and uh, the profit is 25 percent so 25 percent uh, is a, a quarter of this so half is 190 half of 380 is 190 so a quarter is half of this which is 95 so the profit is 95 and so this is the price price after discount after discount it is 475 so even when the watch is sold for 475 so yeah 475 giving a discount of 25 you're making a profit of 25 percent